I'll, where an object will be the small surface it is and, and corresponding image will be formed. It's a small surface. A small surface is kept on the axis with its plane perpendicular to axis here. Then how we define the magnification. So what is the height and also the width no, here? So the same formula, magnification of height should be equal to minus of B1 by B. Magnification of width should be equal to minus of A1 by A. So what is the area of the <coughs> area of image? How we define area of image A1, B1? Area of image, we define it as A1, B1. So what is A1 from the diagram? A into MW. Mm, what about similarly B1? B1 should be minus of B into MH. Area magnet, so like a height and width magnifying. So this will become AB into MW by MH. What is AB? AB will become area of object. And the magnification, both height and width magnification will be same. So therefore, finally, what do we get? M into M. So this superficial magnification will write it MS. So what is MS? MS should become equal to M square, which is equal to area of image by area object. We know linear magnification, what is M? M should be equal to minus of V by U. So therefore this will become v square by u square. So this is called as superficial magnification. May not be very important. Huh? Somewhere a numerical may come. So just directly take help of this formula. What are v and u? So sorry, uh, where, where you would indicate v and u? As actually, I have to show that also. So the V, this will be the object distance. This will be the image distance. Okay, fine. All the distance should be measured from pole. No? A small surface will be kept with its plane normal to the axis. Then they will define the, the magnification, like superficial magnification. <laughs> We, we do define like this. Okay, this is the area, what all we discussed for this. The content is related to this superficial magnification. Okay, next afterwards, axial magnification or what you can call like a longitudinal magnification. There's a rod, I'll, there's a rod is there. and its corresponding image will come here. So how is the object? Object is kept along the axis. Object is along the axis. Extended object is along the axis. Halle, what about there? Previously, how the, how the extended object? Extended object was normal to the axis. Am I right? Okay. What is axis? Somebody is asking, what is axis? <laughs> Principal axis only, in short, I'm calling as optic axis or only axis you can call it. So what do you mean by transfers? Because the, uh, how the object is oriented, the object is oriented 
normal to the principal axis. So therefore I'll call transverse magnification. Similarly, come for this one. What do you mean by uh, longitudinal magnification or axial? Because the object is along the axis. So therefore called as axial or longitudinal. Exit this. So how to find out the this one. So what is the axial magnification we do define? Axial magnification equal to length of image by length of object. Okay, so it's, it's a very simple. So in fact, if the length of the object is very small, no. So we can directly write it is also equal to square of transverse magnification. So how do we can derive that one? So let me go for one by V. I have a place here. So what is the length of image? Okay, let, let me write formula. M axial, no, MA I'll write it. So this should be equal to length of the image should be equal to v, B, v A minus V B. This should be equal to UB minus UA. Length of the image by length of the object. Huh? We will we'll measure things like this here. So this if the so we can also just differentiate. So this will become minus one by U square DU. Focal length will be constant. So this dv by du equal to minus of v square u square. So dv is what change in length, nothing but equal to axial magnification. So what is the formula now when, when this is applicable? And this should be equal to m square, what we have done, the transverse magnification square of it. So therefore, so what we can call that one, axial longitudinal magnification is equal to uh, when, when this is applicable, when the length of the object is very small, th this you should take only when, when you should work out this particular formula, when the length of object is very small. I, I'm making things clear. All the pink color, what I'm shading, I don't have space, so therefore I'm scribbling here only. Anyway, I'm shading it so that will be easier. So there's all this pink color content is applicable only when, if the length of the rod is very small. Okay, this is applicable only when For small or if, if the for small object length is applicable how do you can see it's a small object compared to focal length suppose the length of the object is f by 10 Focal length of the mirror is f, so definitely f by 10 is very small, so we can use directly this formula. Uh, when, when this is applicable, when the length of the rod is, when the length of the object is not small compared to focal length, then use, usually directly use this formula. Hmm? Okay, these are the types of magnifications, what we have <laughs> uh, just now studied. So first one is the transverse 
नेक्स्ट वन इज ए सुपरफिशियल और एरिया मैग्निफिकेशन जिसको लॉन्गिट्यूनल मैग्निफिकेशन मैक्सिमम 